Hi right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to more TGC 2019. And of course, we're going to be playing today is called Old Ainsdale GC, and it is by B101. Now, there's a little write up he's got here on TGC Tours, but underneath it, he actually says, ensure terrain and greens are set to at least firm. Ideally, very firm. Now, I'm not going to put the the green firmness on very firm because to me it's a it's like an artificial difficulty because of the, the way the ball physics work in this game and for the very best experience play with high winds prevailing wind is towards the coast so anything from north through to southeast so we're actually playing with a northeast wind so as you see the fairways are firm the greens are firm the green speed is fast a little bit of light cloud and high window speed uh, we're going off the gold tees are only this one set of tees and it's coming at 7383 yards and pin set number one so let's get cracking now i just started the first hole uh, i did my little sort of course preview and all that got into the first tee hit one right down the center there and it got disconnected now i've seen quite a few people on twitter moaning about this uh, especially console guys it doesn't usually happen on pc but it happened um about five minutes ago so i'm gonna to have to do my little course preview and all that again so let's get going uh very nice looking first hole i really really like this first hole i love the crowd work uh, let's put the the old sky cam on here and his planting is absolutely top notch we've got all the, the bushes but look at the crowd here this must be the 18th i think very nice and a little practice green over here and then you've got the pub ah hold on the pub is down there this is the clubhouse as i said i actually did my sort of course little preview but we're going to have to do it again because hb can't sort the servers out <laughs> they really need to sort this shit out before um pga 202k21 comes out they really do okay you got a nice driving range over there as well and I like the way you've got the sort of boundary fence between the, the driving range and this little town here. So here's the sort of entrance into the clubhouse. Again, love the plant. I love this little sort of this little tree housing that he's got here with a little bench around it there. Very nice. A couple of tables and chairs out there. And there's my emblem for my solo society. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's go have a quick look at the plot here, shall we? Okay, that's a nice little town he's got there, as you see, all the way down the coastline. Okay, what he says here as well, um, I'll just read this little, whoop, I'll just read this little bit out as we go up here. We'll go up here and we'll take a look at the pub. I'll say, a collaboration with Joe Golfer G, Old Ainsdale GC, will be the proud host of this year's Open Championship on TG Tours. A traditional low-lying links packed with strategy. The course takes primary inspiration from the great old English links of Hoy Lake and Litham, but you'll spot influences from numerous classic links as you enjoy your round. Shot shaping is at a premium and you'll want to pick your lines off the tee with care. Now, as you can see, you got, what was that I noticed? I think there was three sort of little burns I've seen here. Here's the first one here. A burn, stream, river, whatever you want to call it. But since it's a links course, we'll call it a burn. Very nice. And I had a look. It looks like it. Uh, you see the, the sort of big pipe work there. So it must actually feed in from the ocean over that side. And it comes all the way down. Sort of winds its way around the fairways. You've got all these little lovely little sort of waterfalls and weirs. It's very nice. I just have to check. Yep, make sure I had my mic on mute there. I didn't want to go through it all again. Because on OBS... Um, if something happens with your record, you can actually pause it. So that's what I did. I actually paused it, but I muted my mic. And when it started me back up, <clears throat> I actually exited the game, started it back up, came back in, and it started me back off the first tee. I took my shot, but I forgot to unmute my mic. <laughs> so I said, sod it, we'll just start the bloody recording again. So here we are. And... I hope it doesn't disconnect again. So here, here you go, the King's Keg Pub. Lovely little sort of English, sort of local pub, or Scottish. But I'm sure there's a golf course called Ainsdale. And I'm sure it's up to the northwest of England, up, up Liverpool way, somewhere up there. Very nice looking little pub though. You get the tables and chairs outside, sitting out there. Nice summer's evening, having a nice cold beer. Just watching the guys going down the 
the fairways and stuff there. Let's take a little pan around, get a nice view of the course here. Look at that, beautiful. Look at this nice big road as well. The planting is absolutely top notch. And again, you can kind of see like a different color texture. I noticed this in the course of the day. You've got a sort of brownier texture there, and then you've got a lighter texture here on the rough. It really does look nice the way they do that. You've got loads of little bunkers as well, I noticed, on the fairways. So, and I bet you any money that if the fairway is actually sloped towards the bunkers. So I think this is going to be a, one hell of a challenge of a course, especially with the winds and the, the firm and fast greens. Nice little bunkers just sort of protecting the greens. Okay, and let's have a look at the coastline here. Nice little sort of beach coastline. I'm really looking forward to this. I do like a good links course. And as, there you go, look, you see the dark brown patch there? And compared to the, the sort of lighter green rough there, I really like that. But that's the sun. I think the sun is just going in behind a cloud. So you're going to get a little bit of cloud, and it's going to come out. I put a little bit of light cloud on it. I didn't want to do it like pure overcast, because I think sometimes it goes a little bit too dark when it's like that. But let's head back round towards the first tee. Love the grandstands and that as well, the way he's done his crowds. Let's have a look there. Yeah, the sun is behind the cloud up there. So we'll get down onto the first tee and we should get playing. Oh, that wind sounds like it's blowing. And there goes the sun coming back out now. Just ready for me to take my, my tee shot. Now, hopefully this wind is 12, 13 miles an hour because that's what it was when I got disconnected. So let's put the hard back on. Yep, 12 mile an hour. Okay, Old Ainsdale with GC Open. Hole 1, 478 yards, par 4. Now, I kind of just tried to tip it right around the over the top of here. It hit the rough, but it still made it, so we'll do the same again. And hopefully it just cuts that corner. It might just hit the rough. And it did. Oh, shit, we got a bad bounce that time now. Damn it. <laughs> My first shot landed about 20, 30 yards up the fairway there. So, screw you, HB. You just screwed my shot up. Because I made it on the first attempt. <laughs> okay, well, we've got 153. 75 to 82. I think we're going to go up one. Right. Oh, this is going to be tough to hold that green. If I get on the green. Is it going to get on the green? Oh, go on. Well, that worked out not too bad, actually. Now, you can probably hear the crowd is a little bit louder. Somebody mentioned in my commentary section, the comments, that they couldn't really hear the crowd on some of my videos, so I've just turned it up a little touch. Okay, the green speed is 163. Oh, I think maybe I should have set that to one, uh, to very fast, actually. Yeah, I think I've set it to fast. Probably should have been very fast, but we shall see. Okay, what well we've got? 11 feet, 4 inches up. Why don't we start off with a birdie? Nice. So I do apologise, B101, if you want the greens a bit faster. I think I did have them set on very fast, uh, very fast actually. Or default when I first set it up. And then we got disconnected, which is a pain in the ass. K okay, hole 2, 431 yards, par 4. Okay, you got a few bunkers right down the center of the fairway here, so we're going to have to be careful. Okay, 10 mile an hour wind. Now we could try just aim for that bunker and let the wind. Or I could just try that. Yeah, let's try that. Uh oh, well, hold on, that's a 2 with What am I doing? Okay, now will that run out? I don't think so. But we're going to go up here. Oh, that's going to be tough. I hope I've got this right with this fade. Oh no, shit. I put fade on it and then changed club, didn't I? 
and so it took the fade off. God damn it. Because we're on the two wood, uh, added fade, but as soon as you change another club, it takes the fade off. Should have thought of that. Okay, 91 96 percent 137, 11 up, so it's playing around about 140, 141. Um, do, 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 do. 148 is too much. Let's just down loft this a little touch, just add that little bit extra. Should get on the green now. Uh oh, he hits a slow. But we are on the green. Gives us a chance at a putt. Okay, starts off a little bit left to right, then goes right to left. I think it's more right to left though. 29 feet, 3 inches up. Oh, that's going to turn too much. Okay, stop ball, stop. <sighs> Oof, that rolled on quite a bit. I think we could pick up a bogey here. Come on, let's see if we can get this. Okay, 11 feet, 3 inches up. Okay, nice little save up there. Okay, here we go. Kyle Stanley, Harold Varner, Mikko Koronen, uh, Brad Kennedy, Kevin Kistner, Keegan Bradley. Okay, hole three, 409 yards, par four. Oh, there, that, that looks nice with the, the sun out. As you see, the, the planting is absolutely top notch. It's done a cracking job on it. So it looks like we're hitting up towards the burn here. We've got three bunkers there. I wonder if we can get over the top of them. That's beautiful looking. Okay, nine mile an hour wind against us. I think that wind should actually hold it up. We won't run out. Oh, no, not fast. Kind of hoping that wind still holds it up enough. Oh yeah, that's fine. Okay, 111, 19 feet up. That's playing around about 117. 117. So let's just tiny touch of down loft on that. Let's check my life. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's some tough pin positions. Come on. It's looking not bad. It's a little bit left out. Oh, that's short. And it's hit the slope. Damn. So we're going to leave ourselves a tough putt here. Is it going off? It is. So that's going to leave us a chip, which is actually better, to be honest. Okay. 14 yards, two feet up. Drop that down maybe to the 10 yard carry. That'll do it. We'll pick up the par from that. I hope so, anyway. And we do. Nice. Yeah, it's really nice when the sun's out. Hole 4, 220 yards. Par 3. Now, there was a video released the other day, yesterday, I think it was. As I said in my last video, there's some more information coming out. But it was just a, a commentary video with uh, Luke Elvey and Rich Beam. I didn't really think it warranted putting on the beginning of this video or a separate video for it. It wasn't much good, to be honest. And I actually found it a little bit cringe. Because he used, uh, for an albatross, he used the word <coughs> super chicken. He went, super chicken! And I just thought, oh, that's a bit cringe. Yeah, so I, I didn't think it warranted its own video. <clears throat> and I didn't think it warranted to me putting it on the start of this video, so... It's on YouTube. So it was nothing that they gave us... Uh, usually we'll get an email off um, one of the guys at 2K to tell us there's new stuff coming out and they'll give us it a little bit early, but this one they just released it on YouTube, so... Yeah, there's nothing, nothing great about it, to be honest. Um, so I think... It's actually downhill, 218, 25 down. So it's playing, what, about 209, 210. So I think we should be good with that. I'm going to put a little bit of loft on there. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to 
Let's just try that. Okay, we get the perfect, perfect. Kind of hoping that wind just brings it in a little bit more. Oh, that's not too... Oh, it's, it's still going though. That's off the green. That's a tough, tough green. Uh, you see what I mean? By If I had that on very firm, that ball would have been way over the back. And to me, that's just, that's just a no-go for this game, to be honest. It's such a, as I say, artificial difficulty. Okay, that should... Oh, nine yards, 13 yards. I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to go with a flop here. A little bit of left to right. Get this close, come on. Oh, that stopped quick coming out of the rough. You don't usually expect it to stop that quick coming out of the rough. Okay, we've got the pass save. Now, I'm really going to have to concentrate on this course, I think. Hole 5, 470 yards, par 4. That's a great view as well. The, the plant and the bushes and the... Absolutely superb. Really does capture the Lynx course. Beautiful. Okay, the wind's with us here. And we don't have any bunkers on the fairway. Oh, shit. I'm kind of hoping that sticks. Come on. Didn't miss the mark by much. Oh, that's fine. Not a bad drive. 325 yards. Quite a flat line. Okay. I definitely do, do not want to be left. So I'm going to even aim a little bit more to the right than I should do. Okay, 145. So it's playing about 148. But we've got that wind as well. 148. Yeah, I think that should do it, you know. Now, it is going to be right at the pin, but I do not want to play left. Do not want to go anywhere near left. That will do. That should do fine. Now, if I played that a little bit more to the left and I hit a fast, we would have been in trouble. Okay. Let's see if we can pick up a birdie here. Nice. You yeah, see, when the sun hits there, behind a cloud, the, the bushes and that sort Go in like a shadow, dark. K ho six hundred and seventy six yards, par three. Okay, not a bad distance for a par three. Pin looks quite approachable. It's at the back. Eleven mile an hour wind coming in from the left. There's not much of a backstop there, but there's a little bit of an uphill past the pin there. Okay. 191, 14 downs. So it's playing around about 186. Yeah, let's go with that. And I think let's put a little bit of a little bit of draw on the ball here. See so if we can get this right. Well, that's looking not bad. The wind should start pushing it back in. Oh, oh is that a slope? No. Nope. A little bit too much loft that. That would have been nice, I think, if I didn't put any loft on it at all, to be honest. Okay, tough little putt, this one. Got quite a bit of a turn on it. 29 feet, one inch down. Ooh, not too bad. We'll pick up the par, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> some, of, some of the rounds I've played last week I've missed putts like that I've missed a few of them you think you yeah, it's just a little tap in and you need just a momentary lapse of concentration and you miss it K hole 7 493 yards par 4 I'm enjoying this it's a nice course I'm kind of hoping I don't lose bloody connection again though okay Got the burn just coming down the left-hand side of the fairway here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now, do I 
put a little bit of loft on it, a little bit of draw on it. That looks pretty straight. That's not bad at all. Nice. 308, middle of the fairway, 182 yards to pin. Uh, we've 183. That wind's a little bit against us, so let's go this way again. A little bit less because we're on a bit of a slope as well now. Tiny, tiny touch of loft, I think. Oh, come on, wind. Push that in for us. Oh, that's not bad. A little bit more loft. That would have been fine. But we're there for a birdie putt. Okay. Eight, oh, what was it? 11 feet, five inches down. So this is just going to be a tiny little tap. Oh, that's missed. Has it? No, it's dropped in. Nice. We'll get another birdie. That puts us on minus three. Kyle Stanley is finished and he is on a minus six. So minus six to target. Oh, eight. 488 yards. Par four. Got the beach all the way down the left hand side of the fairway here. Got a few bunkers on the fairway. And you see all the little sort of humps and bumps, all the little, little dents in the fairway there. It's, you're going to kick your ball left or right. Okay, 12 a mile an hour wind. I think we'll go this side actually. Put a little bit of draw on it, uh, a little bit of fade, should I say. That should be fine. Nice. Now, I think you probably got a better angle attack on the left hand side of that bunker, but there wasn't a lot of space there. So I came to the right hand side. Okay, right. What have we got here? 169, so it's playing 172. Let's put a bit of that on there. Come on. Oh, 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 oh shit, look, there's a slope there. And it's caught it. Damn it. Little bit more fade I had to put on that, I think. It's going to be a tough putt, this one. Right. 45 feet, one foot up. Quite a turn on it. Ooh, distance wasn't too bad. If it stops, come on. So we'll pick up the part. I'm just going to have a quick look at the scorecard. I don't think I've hit a bogey. Let's have a look. Oh, well, we're doing not too bad. Three under. It's a pretty tough course. Oh, nine. 380 yards. Of par four. That's a great view again. The bushes, the plant, superb. I love the, the space and out of the crowds it's got here as well. Because you've seen a couple of the videos I've done and some of the designers have just put like blocks of crowds and it looks horrible. I love, I like the way that he's got them spaced out now. It's a tough looking pin position. So again, let's try this with a bit of fade on it. Peach right down the center. So there you go, guys. A um, little bit of fade. And you go to the... Let me have a quick look when it comes up again. The white line on the T, 10 to 11 miles an hour straight across. That's where the driver. It will change the ions and stuff. Okay, what we've got here? 73, 13 up. So that is playing about 77. But we should be good, I reckon. Just going straight in there with this. Oh, no! 
Ooh, that's not too bad, actually. And as you know, HB logic, you hit a slow downswing, you get more distance on the ball. Okay, 11 feet, 1 inch up. And we pick up another birdie. Okay, we're catching them. We are catching them. 10, 402 yards, par 4. Okay, looks like the burn, stream or river. <laughs> Splits the fairway here. And I... Oof, no, not going to go over that. So let's drop it down. Two, it might actually run out as well, because it's slightly downhill. I'm going to go with the two iron here. I'm not going to put any fade or draw on it this time. I'm just going to let the wind push it back in. Just play it against the wind. Yeah, definitely. I think the two would, would have run out of that. Driver would definitely not make it across the, the stream or the burn there. Okay, 143, four down, so it's playing 142. Got a 9 iron, 142, 136, hmm, 142, go with 142, or 148, and we'll put some loft on it. <clears throat> now I don't know whether to, yeah let's go for that shall we. Oh shit, it's a fast. So that should be off the green. Yep. Not good. Okay, nine yards. Eh, 11 yards, one foot up. And that should be good. Just try and bounce it at the top there. Ah, no, that's short. 85%. I wanted a bit more than that. Come on. It's not more cup yet. Okay, 11 feet. Come on, come on. No, no, we've missed it. Damn it. So that's a bogey. Wow, we had to get one eventually, I think. Just on that little chip there. Just a little bit short. I didn't want 85%. What, 90, 95%. Which I think in PGA 2 or 2K21 is going to actually be easier because of the, the white sort of power bar you've got at the bottom. But to me, that kind of takes away from what TGC is. TGC doesn't have power bars. And I'm quite, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see how the gameplay actually feels. But I'm a bit disappointed in it. That was the whole thing about TGC. There was no handhold and there was no power bars or anything like that, if you know what I mean. And Nikine would be spitting feathers because that was the way he wanted the game to be. Right, I think we're going to get right over the top of this bunker here. So I'm going to aim to the right and we'll just go with wind. The wind's going to pull it back in for us. Oh, that's got a big slope on that fairway. Shit. Oh, bloody hell. Now, if I had looked closer at that fairway, I probably would have put some fade on that. Okay, 91, 96%, so that's not too bad. 132, 15 up. Do, 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 so it's playing 137. Mm hmm, 137. I'm gonna just put a tiny touch of down loft on this. Oh, come on. Another fast. That's going to hit the slope and come off. Yep. That's the problem. You've got a lot of slopes on these fairways around the edges. If you hit fast and slows, you've got a good chance of just coming off the green. Okay, so this is going to be a flop shot. 14 yards. Come on. Oh, oh, no, no. Shit. Right. Need to 
Oh dear, double bogey coming up, guys. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, hold on, this is four. Yeah, I might just come away with a bogey, actually. Which is good. Right. Um, flop again. I think it was probably because I put loft on that one, actually. But we can't miss this. Come on. So it's just a little tap. Right, come away with a bogey. That's not bad. Apps are coming back off the green now. We'll take that. Take it on the chin. So what was that? Oh, bloody hell. Bogey, bogey. Oh, right. Not a good start to the back nine. Oh, 12. 505 yards. Par four. Just so easy to just get your score to start then plumbing. Okay, you got one big bunker in the center of the fairway there. Okay, should be good down. Right. A bit of loft. Uh, a little bit of draw. It should be fine. Right down into a sort of little hollow there. It looks like we've got a left uh, left to right lie here though. Yep. Okay, right. Ooh, that's a tough, tough. Okay, 199, 13 down. So it's playing what? Oh, 196, 195, about 195. 194. But that wind is against us as well. Oh dear, I don't know. Mm. Okay, that's about, round about for 11 miles an hour. Then you've got the slope to contend with. Let's try that. Oh, bloody hell. I think overdid it a bit there. Oh, got a nice bounce there, though. Oh, where's it going now? Ah, uh, stopped. Nice. Uh, let's see if we can pick up a, a birdie here. Okay, what we got? Just a little bit of a double breaker. Just missed on that right hand edge. I think the crowd might be a little bit too high. <laughs> I might have to turn them back down again, I think. Hole 13, 616 yards, par 5. Okay, long par 5 this one. We're certainly not going to reach into it. So at least we're probably going to play up short to the burn there. And I'm going to drop it down to the two wood. Oh, hold on. Try will that hold the driver up? Oh, I don't know. If that doesn't hold the driver up, we could be in trouble here. Oh shit, we hit so fast as well. Damn it. Come on, wind. Do you? Oh yeah, cool, nice. Whew, whew, whew. Thank goodness for that. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Right. Just let the wind push it around. Hopefully this doesn't go too far. Come on. Oh yes, nice. Okay, that leaves us seventy-eight and two feet up. 81 yard. Nope. Let's go down to 73, I think. That should run on it just a little bit, I reckon. Okay, we're the perfect, perfect. The wind's turning it nice. Okay, stop now. Stop. Bloody stop. <laughs> Could have done a, maybe a little bit of loft on it, just try and get it to check that little bit. Okay. But we get the birdie. Nice one. Okay, what are we on? Minus three. We were catching them as well until we got that 
Bogey, bogey. Oh, 14, 130 yards. Par 3. Oh, yes. Nice little par 3. Pins at the front, though. Which always makes it a bit tougher. With the wind right against us as well. Okay, 125. So it's playing 127. Oof, I don't think that's going to be enough. Might have to down loft this as well. Right, come on, wind, bring it back in. Oh, oh, what a shot. Nice. <laughs> well happy with that. Almost. Almost. I'm going to pick up an over catching them again. KO 15, 479 yards, par 4. Now, I'll keep it steady and don't do anything silly. We might catch them. But it's a tough, this is a tough course. I'm having to really concentrate on this. And I should really do that with all my playthroughs, but. <laughs> but I don't. Right, um, driver, driver, driver. Right, let's. A little bit of draw on that ball there. And our tempo's not been too bad today. We have had a couple of little mishaps, but it's not been too bad. Okay, 175. Oh dear. It's 170. 175, um, 183, we'll go 183 with a bit of loft on it. Definitely don't want to go, oh, I don't know, oh, I'm going to play this right over here. Oh shit, oh come on, oh that's looking not bad actually, definitely want to be right at the pin. That'll do. That'll do lovely. Yeah, you've got to pick your spots on these greens and, and leave yourself maybe a half a chance, if you know what I mean. I didn't want to flit over there, flutter over that hole though, because of that slope. Right, what have we got? 14 feet, 4 inches down. So it's just a little tap. Oh, I just missed it. Just missed it. I'll tell you what, I think with the firm greens, I think that's a good speed. Uh, fast and not very fast. 016, 188 yards, par 3. Oh, that is tough. That is a tough. We're going to have to go long here. Okay, 183, 10 up. So it's playing 186. We've gone in there with a 6 iron. Going to have to put a little bit of loft on that, I think, though. Ah, uh, that's going to catch the slope. That's uh, going to come off. Damn it. Yeah, I wanted to be more right than that. Right, where's that going? Hey, way down the hill. Damn it. So that was a pretty good shot. Punished quite a bit though. Okay, 14 yards, five feet up. <laughs> That's a pretty steep hill we got. Um, I'm going to go with a flop. Just a little flop shot. That'll do it. We'll take the part. <sighs> Oof, we just got that. Any slower and we would have missed that, I think. K ho 17, 557 yards, par 5. It's had cracking looking par 5. Nice and open. You see the town there. 
the right hand side again nice space into the crowd right over the top of this bunker here a little bit of loft uh, keep saying loft uh, a little bit of fade on the ball Uh oh, 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 that's okay. Right now, and we could probably aim it there, but we'd have to put a lot of fade on it with that slope. But then you're going to catch that slope there as well. You're not going. To, I don't think you're going to get anywhere near the pin unless you come off this little hillock here. So I am actually going to play up here. And we're going to put a little bit of fade on it as well. Come on, do not go into the bunker. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah. Come on, let's try and hold it together for the last two hopes. Right, definitely not playing over here. You definitely want to play over here. Even if it leaves us a pretty tough putt. Okay, so what we've got? 44. It's playing 45. Um, 90 to 95. Oh shit, get back there. Yeah, we're going to have to go with a flop. 42 yard carry. Now we should get a little bit of run out of this. I'm going to down loft it just a touch as well. <gasps> oh, shit. Very fast. And that again did not feel like a very fast to me. Right, here we go. Little chip. Just let it run down. A little bit more. We would have had it. We would have had it. So that's going to be a par. Okay, who we got? Kyle Stanley still there with minus six. We're not going to catch him now. Rory McIlroy's just come into the bottom. Oh, 18, 498 yards. Par four. Nice looking finishing hole with the crowds surrounding the green now. <clears throat> right. Oh, that bunker. Look where that bunker is. Damn. So we're going to play here and we're going to put some draw on the ball. That should be good. Okay, let's hope we can come away with a par here. So this looks pretty tough. Right, I'll tell you what, it's not a bad distance, you know. 210, it's playing 29, 203. Oh, we pulled that to the left, but hopefully that wind brings it back in. Oh, that was so close. Okay, stop boat. Oh, nope, it's caught the slope again. Damn. <clears throat> There's a lot of slopes around these greens. Right. Oh, go. Oh, damn it. Little, little ounce more weight and we would have had that so we're going to pick up the par here on the 18th all right guys that is old Ainsdale gc and it's going to be holding the tgc tours um open championship and that is by b101 and, and joe golfer g but of course loved it it's one of the best um links courses i've played in a long time challenging tough very fair but again as i said i didn't put the green firmness on a very firm because as I keep saying it's just an artificial to go to well for me I think it is anyway and ideally I think that speed was pretty good 
uh, green speed wise. So give it a play, guys. Absolutely fantastic course. I love that. Well done, you guys, for this course. And don't forget, guys, if you like content, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that little bell. You get notified every time you upload and follow me on Twitter as well. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Catch you next time.